Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue by Biggs. Today, we're working with smoked chicken breasts. What we're doing is we're taking some chicken breasts, we're rolling smoke with apple chunks and B&B charcoal, but we're gonna put a lot of them on there so we can have meals throughout the week. There's nothing like having a hankering for smoked chicken throughout the week and you just don't have the time because you work late or something else, the busy lifestyle just won't allow you to do it. So if you guys wanna see some meal prep chicken breasts, you guys, come along with us and stay tuned. All right, we're gonna start by making a brine for this chicken. So we're gonna take three quarts of water, and we have two containers, we're doing this twice, but we'll show you the one time. Three quarts of water, we have a half a cup of kosher salt. Now you wanna make sure that this is kosher salt and not regular iodized salt. We ha we're gonna do a tablespoon of thyme leaves, then we're gonna do a tablespoon of oregano leaves, and then we're gonna also add one tablespoon of rosemary leaves. So once we get those in there, we're also going to add one tablespoon of granulated garlic. Make sure it is the granulated garlic and not the garlic salt or the garlic powder. The granulated garlic works a whole lot better. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of granulated onion. So we'll just get this granulated onion loaded up in here. And then we're going to take it and we're going to stir it all together. Once we have it stirred together for quite well, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of honey. If you have a favorite flavored honey that you'd like to add, go ahead and add that now. This is all up to your, what your tastes are. This is just a general chicken brine that we use for these breasts and it turns out good every time that we do it. So now that we're gonna take these breasts and we're just gonna trim off some of the excess stuff that the butcher leaves on there. You have flaps of fat, you have some thin pieces. We're just gonna make sure that we get those cut off. And so we have a, a breast that doesn't have a lot of hang-ons and a lot of fat hanging off. That fat doesn't render well in these chicken breasts. Uh, it's not like fat underneath the skin. It's just chunks of fat and gristle. We wanna make sure that we get those off. Now you can use this chicken, the leftover chicken, to make a stock of some sort, but we're not gonna do that. It's, it'll just go in the trash. Once you have it trimmed up, what I like to do is push down in the middle of them to flatten them out a little bit so when they smoke, they smoke a little bit more evenly. And then we're just gonna throw these into that brine. Then they'll go covered into the fridge for four to four and a half hours until they're ready to go on the smoker. So after about four and a half hours, we got them out of the refrigerator, we washed them off with clean water, and now we're drying them off. Mind you that a lot of those herbs stick to these chicken breasts and it just adds flavor to them. But we wanna make sure that we wash as much of the salt off so it isn't salty. That salt is just to allow those flavors to go into those breasts. We wanna make sure that we get that salt off of it. Now we're gonna take some olive oil. We're just gonna put some olive oil on the outside of these breasts as a binder to hold our rub on. Just gonna drip some olive oil on them and then just kinda of mush them together to make sure we have a pretty good coat of olive oil on the outside of these breasts. Now, once these things have a good coating on them, we're gonna add our rub. And the rub today, guys, is brought to you by Uncle Steve's Shake. You know, it's kind of hard not to use Uncle Steve's on something like this because it's so darn good. His competition bird shake on chicken is just amazing. So we're gonna put a liberal coating on the front and the back. We'll do the back first. And we're just gonna take all 19 of these chicken breasts and get a good coat of rub on them. While we get the rest of these rubbed up, you know what, if you haven't hit that like button, reach down there and smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing to our channel. That way you'll be alerted next time we have one of these great cooks. So we're gonna finish up the rubs here and we're gonna get these ready to get out on that smoker. All right, we've got all 19 of these breasts rubbed up and ready to go on. Like I said before, we're cooking this on apple chunks with B&B &B charcoal. We're gonna cook it to internal temperature of about 162 degrees. And then as we tint it with foil, it'll come up to that done temperature. You don't wanna overcook chicken. If you overcook chicken, it's gonna be really dry. So 
We did the brine to make sure that stays juicy on the inside, especially on the reheat. Like I said before, these are gonna go in a vacuum seal, so we wanna make sure that we, they're as juicy as possible, especially on the reheat. So we're gonna get these on 275 degrees. We'll bring you along. All right, we're gonna get them loaded up. Got that good smoke. Let's go ahead and get these things loaded on here. All right, they're all loaded on, ready to go. We're gonna come back and check on them here in about 45 minutes, and then we'll probe them, see, see where they're at on temperature. Like I said before, we wanna be at 162 degrees, internal temperature, then as they rest, they'll come up to that 165. So we'll get them on here, we'll bring you guys back to check on them about 45 minutes to an hour. See you then. All right, the chicken breasts have been on for about an hour. They look pretty close to being done. We're gonna get a pen thermometer and check. Uh, we're looking for about 162, 163 degrees. The thing about chicken is if it's overdone, it's really dry. If it's underdone, it's dangerous. So let's check in and see where we're at. All right, we're gonna get our pen thermometer and check, see how close we are. We're looking for 162, 163, like we said. The little ones are probably close to being done. The bigger ones might need a little bit more time. Either way, we'll get what pulled off what we need to, and then we'll go from there. Color's looking great on these things. Bring you guys in and let you look at it. Color looks good, seasoning set on real well. We'll check the temperatures and get them pulled off. So we'll check the temperatures in the deepest part of these breasts. See how close we're getting here. 163. 163. That one's right at 164. That one needs a little more time. That one's in good shape, 164. So we were right at it. 246. Probably need about another 10, 15 minutes. So. We'll let them go and uh, we'll bring you guys back for the cut and the taste. See you then. All right, so we're ready for the taste test. Let me bring you guys in here to look at this as we cut it. Just gonna cut through this. See how that is. You see, look at the juice just pouring. Hopefully you can see that. Juice just coming out. Looks delicious. See if you guys can see that. That looks great. Look at that. So moist. Let's get a taste of this. Mmm. Mmm. Tell you guys something. That right there is some good chicken. Mm. Real juicy. Man, it's so good. You know what though? I got 19 of them that I can eat during the week too. So, mm. let's go and get another piece of that. See? Mm. You guys gotta do this. It's delicious. Catch y'all next time. Don't be a stranger.